welcome back to my astro imaging journey channel and in this episode we're going to reprocess uh, m101 pinwheel galaxy if you remember from the pre-processing video you can kind of see this banding right here uh, it's definitely a lot less than the previous attempt so hopefully we'll get something useful out of this image <clears throat> excuse me so got a little you know edges are pretty bad and we got a band here don't think this is going to be the best image in the world but We'll see if we can salvage something out of this and make it better than the first attempt. So, let's get at it. First, let's start with a little dynamic crop. Just want to bring in the edges a little bit. Not a ton, just enough to get that mess off the sides. All right, so next we're gonna use a little, let's see what we get with an ABE first. Just to see what we're working with. All right, yep, you can definitely see that band right across there. Stars are kind of bloated. But we'll still work with it. Let's close that out and let's do a little dynamic background extraction. And I've just got to move some points around. You can see we've got some in the inside the galaxy here. So I'm just going to move some of these around, make sure none are on any stars. And yeah, so I will see you back here in a few seconds. All right. EBE is done. Cleaned it up better than it was with ABE. So, let's go ahead. Close out DBE, minimize that and get it out of our way. Do a little background neutralization. And I need a nice dark spot. Think right in here. We use that spot right there. Let's see what this does for us. Now let's try a little photometric color calibration. And we'll set three point seven two. Local length is I can never remember what my focal length is. Why can't I do that? We're looking at 2800. 
times the 0.7 the focal reducer times two for the drizzle is 19 or 39 to one. And the rest I'm gonna leave the same. Let's see what that comes back with. All right, that has completed. Let's go ahead and get rid of that preview. And don't think SCNR is going to work for us. But let's try it anyways. Oh, yeah. Uh, Greencast. Let's just take a little bit off there. That's a little better. Uh, now let's make a luminance mask. Excuse me, a luminance image. that mask over here and let me get a little range selection on it about these fringes because they'll probably be cropped out in the end. Right. Now I have that mask. Do a little denoising. So we want to invert and denoise. All right, we are back, and this is completed. Uh, looks like I forgot to hide the mask. So let's see here. Zoom in, saw a little bit of action right in here. Yeah, smoothed it out a little bit. And I 
I don't know if I want to try to do it again or not. Nah, not normally part of my workflow, so I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to even attempt deconvolution. This data is just too, too horrible. So let's do a little sharpening. Show the mask. Invert the mask. And let's apply a little, a little sharpening, see what it does. All right, that's completed. So let's undo, redo. I think that was a little too much. Let me preview this area. And let's, let's see if this will, see if we can make any adjustments. That one's going to be way too much. I'm getting a little ringing around that. Don't want that. like that either. Zero. And let's try zero there. And toggling it. Not seeing a big difference. I'm not going to apply any sharpening to this image. Just do not like what I'm seeing. Let's stretch. Remove the mask. And let's try a art sign stretch. And let's see what that will do for us. And I don't think it did anything. Let's undo. I think the data is just too bad to use with this guy, so we will move on to histogram transformation. All right, 
right, so... Let's see what we got here. I don't think... That's a new range mask. Let's pop this on here. And we're going to do HDR multi scale transform. All right, and that's done. So let's close this out. Zoom in here. Undo. Redo. Yeah, that makes it look a lot better. Now I'm going to remove the mask. The local histogram equalization. First. See here, one point four. Just playing with the values a little bit. There, so let's go ahead and apply it. All right, that's done. So now let's do a little curves transformation. I think that's about done with the curves. So now let's do a little oh, the script. Let's dark structure enhance. So let's go over here. Utilities dark structure enhance. And just do okay. Redo. Yeah, I like it. Now we need the star mask. Just looking through, it looks like so point two for the noise threshold, and let's see how that works. All right, we got our mask. Spin this out. I think we're okay there. Apply that. Yeah. 
wanted to shrink the stars. No, I'm gonna try it once. Every tutorial I've ever seen says to use five pattern like this. I normally use the nine with this button right here. Let's see what the five looks like. Just to change things up for a little bit here. I'm not seeing much of a difference. If you watch these two stars right up here, Ooh, just a little bit dimmer, but not much. I'm going to go with nine. I'll go back to what I've tried to do in the past. All right. Now, let's see, we're still working. All right, so let's undo. Yeah, that, does, that makes a bigger difference. You can watch these two up here. They definitely dim quite a bit. And we'll leave that right there for now. Go back into our dynamic crop. Do 960 or 9600. And height is 5400. And I think I can go a little bit more than that. Let's do 5940. That's my center point. Galaxy's heavy on this side and light on that side. So oh, the question is, do I include this guy over here? Go bring it right about. Yeah. Right in there. That'll be good. Yeah. I kind of like it like that. So let's, uh, rid of these guys. And I want to open up open up the previous image and let's see what we can see if we improved a little bit all right this over here
approximately the same size. Oh, using better darts and calibration frames, you can see that there's a, this band here in the first attempt was still there. It's not there here, but we did get a little bit of reduced detail through here. So that still impacted what we did here. And a difference in the processing style. Got more in the arms. Got more of the, I don't want to say nebulosity, but the arms are just a little bit brighter. There's here. Structure is more enhanced. I like elements of both. But I still like the new one better simply because I know this band is here and it's quite noticeable to me. And it's not there over here. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. Data wasn't the greatest, but I still managed to pull something out of it. Uh, something I kind of like. I know it could be better. So, with that, for, I'm going to save this in, here in a minute. But as far as this video is concerned, I'm going to end it right here. I want to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, clear skies. Have a good one. Please stick around for the outro. Thanks for watching yet another episode from the Astro Ninja Journey channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video that I have posted prior to this one. Down in the lower right, we have what YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Below is a subscription link. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you so choose. Ring that bell if you want to get notified of something new. And as always, thank you, Clear Skies. Remember to.